605 Brew Reviews back with another beer review and today looking at something I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this is Ballast Points High West Barrel Age Victory at Sea. Uh, so you guys might remember uh, quite a few episodes ago now doing uh, Lagunitas High Westify uh, with a group here. <laughs> And the reason I really like these High West Barrel Age beers, because I actually do like High West whiskey. Um, I've had Campfire, Double Rye, Prairie, a um, few of their different whiskeys and just really enjoyed them. So I really liked uh, High Westified. This is kind of a similar beer. Um, I guess the difference here being this is technically an Imperial Porter, uh, whereas High Westified is a stout. Uh, but some notes on this one, guys. It says, uh, our Ballast Point Victory at Sea Imperial Porter is a bold, smooth brew with just the right amount of sweetness. We infuse this porter with whole vanilla beans and San Diego's own Cafe Calabra coffee, coffee beans. The subtle roasted notes and minimal acidity of the cold brewed coffee balance perfectly with the sweet caramel undertones of the malt, creating a winning combination for your palate. And then, of course, that is then uh, aged in High West bourbon and rye barrels, according to the bottle. Uh, clocks in at 12% ABV and 60 IBU, according to uh, Untapped. So, I guess without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get this into a glass. Let you know what it looks like, smells like, tastes like. And give you the final verdict on the Ballast Point High West Barrel Age Victory at Sea. Here we go. All right, guys, so once again, using the Carpe Broom snifter for this one. Ooh, got a little crazy with that pour. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, nice, dark, uh, an oily colored beer, you're not going to see any light through that. Aggressive pour gave us about a two finger, so a nice kind of khaki or coffee colored head there. Uh, somewhat rocky at the top, but nice tightly compact bubbles down closer to the beer. Um, can't swirl it a ton, but I would assume we're going to have some alcohol legs or some glass lacing there as that head goes down. Uh, let's go ahead and get an aroma on the Ballast Point High West Victory at Sea. Wow. So, up front, big, big High West uh, bourbon aroma there. Whiskey notes. Um, a nice kind of roasty espresso type of uh, coffee note there as well. A little bit of that vanilla bean character. Uh, you definitely pick up the sweetness. A little bit of kind of a creamy vanilla note there. A little bit of chocolate as well guys. Uh, I don't detect a ton of uh, rye spice. Maybe a little bit there on the back end. It's kind of mixed in with like an oaky, earthy uh, note, follows that vanilla, so uh, smells like another really complex beer, guys. Very aromatic, uh, again, just that bright coffee, whiskey, uh, kind of in your face, so looking forward to this one. Let's go ahead and get a flavor on the Ballast Point High West Barrel Age Victory at Sea. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So, flavor on this one up front is all that big, bright, roasted espresso, um, dark roast coffee. Not super bitter, though, uh, which is nice. 
transitions into kind of a big, uh, bittersweet type of chocolate, like a baker's chocolate. Uh, kind of has that bitterness, like, a, you know, again, a baker's chocolate or a Belgian chocolate. And then a little bit of sweetness. Following those chocolate notes, you go right into uh, a little bit of like a whiskey soaked dark fruit. Um, you know, some fig or raisin or plum uh, type of skin notes in there, uh, but soaked in like a bourbon whiskey. Um, actually on the flavor, I do get a little bit more of that rye kind of spiciness. Um, sorry guys, we got a snoring dog. And then into the, the palate, big earthy oak kind of drying. Definitely a vanilla uh, characteristic there and kind of closes with more of that lingering kind of rye spiciness, um, a little bit of that roasty coffee flavor lingering and just a very nice pleasant kind of whiskey flavor that just sticks on, on your palate. Um, Mouthfeel wise, kind of a nice big sweet, uh, I wouldn't go as far as saying chewy, but it's definitely a big beer and it lets you know it um, just with that lingering finish you kind of have a sticky texture in your mouth wow just really nice flavors guys very flavorful um, I love how bright those whiskey flavors and that coffee flavor is so getting into the final verdict on this one guys I would say I'm right between an A and an A+. Plus. Uh, I'm going to stick to an A for simplicity's sake. Uh, just very aromatic beer, very flavorful beer. Um, again, you get the uh, flavors that they claim are in there. Uh, the way that this beer is kind of big, uh, but also very complex, very layered, and the way those flavors play off of each other is just really pleasant. Uh, so again, a beer for me guys uh, if you've had this before go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you thought otherwise if you enjoyed the video uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, if you guys can find the ballast point high west barrel age victory at sea definitely track it down so uh, until next time guys cheers have a good one